Hello, hello, hello. As you can see here, I have with me a little bird. I have been reusing things that I've collected because sometimes making art means that you have to be resourceful. And I have been taking boxes and using the cardboard from those boxes to make pictures that I'm going to use as like greeting cards. I'm going to send these out in the mail to someone to brighten their day, probably with an, a message or some kind words or something uplifting. And making art can be this simple. It can be as simple as just one kind word. So I have with me some little friends. I was sort of in a bird mood when I made these. Um, here's a cat. Um, it's a blue cat. It's this blue paper that keeps showing up in my mailbox that I just absolutely think is beautiful. And I used it to make this peaceful cat. And I made an emoji face. And so this same purple. For some reason I couldn't find the red that I had. And an owl. Isn't that cute? So I can send these, I can give these to people and use them as greeting cards. But just a little something to let someone know that I'm thinking of them or that I care about them. Or I could just keep them for myself. I'm using boxes from products that I have finished using and these boxes of rice and oatmeal are usually in the recycle bin but lately they end up on my desk or in a box beside my desk and all I do is cut the small flaps off just cut along the seam and I end up with a nice size very nice size piece of cardboard that I can use for my projects so let's see I have four here now that are a good size to use so I'll show you some of the things I've collected this um, envelope on the inside has a little fine print this is a security envelope to keep people from holding up to the light and seeing what's inside this is a page from a magazine this is magazine paper that I've used a couple times and so is this. I use this for the owl and this for the cat. See this ad keeps popping in my mailbox all the time but that blue is just gorgeous so they can keep sending me that. I, I don't mind. I really don't. I'm just going to keep making things of it. So I'm going to show you how I did some of these things. Just really easy. So let's see, I'm going to do, maybe I'll do another cat. And I'm going to use this and I'm not, it doesn't even bother me that that's there. I'm going to fold this and along the fold, I'm going to draw half of a cat. Let's see, don't want it to be too big. I won't want it to be too big to fit here. So I made a little fold there to make sure it's going to fit. And I'm going to draw half of a cat. So I'm going to start with the cat's body. So I use a semicircle for that. I'm going to use, do the cat's head, do a semicircle for that, and add an ear right there. And cut it out. And when I cut this out, I'll be cutting around the outside. I won't cut all the way to the end of that first circle I drew because I don't want to cut these shapes apart. I want them to all be one cat shape. A silhouette of a cat. Just the outside of it. Okay. So now when I open it, wow. I, I love that that watches all over him like that. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's a 
that's going to look good on there. Now I'm going to try to add a tail. So I'm going to cut around these numbers, around this outside part, and make a really skinny tail. This, this shape right here along the outside of the watch was perfect for making a tail. Just amazing the things that we stumble up. Look at that. I amaze myself. This is like making discoveries. When you go to create in new ways, you discover things that you just, you, you're like, wow. Sometimes I just blow myself away. Okay. Now this cat, I need to put the tail under this edge. So I'm going to attach this side and leave this side up until I get the tail ready to go tuck, tuck, it, tuck it underneath. Okay, there's the tail and there's there's the rest of the cat. Love that. Love that. It's amazing. Love it. I do think I am going to take a little bit of the blue, like the corner of it, snip, to make a little nose. Just, just like that. I'm not going to put eyes. I'm just going to put that minor detail there. Nose in the middle. And the rest we have to use our imagination for. It's just a little pop of color on that black cat. I'm happy with that. Yay. Okay, set that to the side. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll use some of the blue now. I'll make something tiny here on this one. I'm going to take this print part off. And I'm going to do another design that... There, that's the perfect size. I'm going to do another creature that has symmetry in a way. So I'm going to fold this in half. And... I'm going to do a fish this time. So I'm going to make the body and add a tail. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully that works. And if it doesn't, guess what? We have more free art supplies that came in the junk mail that we can use. And while I don't like to waste supplies, free supplies just, just, I don't feel so bad when I mess up. It was free. Okay. So I like to draw on the back side so that the marks don't show and the front is just, yay, that turned out great. That's, that's great. There we go. Fish. Cutie, little cutie. I'm going to have to add some things to this guy simply because I think it needs it. So this is a time where I'm just going to take my marker, my pen, and add details. The reason why I'm using a Sharpie marker is because it shows up well on this paper that's been in the magazine. Okay, now I'm going to add fins at the top and a few little fins at the bottom. And maybe I'll make the tail 
have some textures too. Isn't that clever? I love it. Let's see, what else can we do? Hmm. Oh, look at this color. I'm still feeling like quite a bird brain today. I'm just gonna cut this pretty much in half. This is like a nice sunset in the clouds. I'm going to turn it into a lovely bird. So I fold it in half. I think we want to make another owl. So I'm going to make the body go like that. And the top of the head curves like that. Okay. The beautiful thing about cutting out something when it's been folded in half is that it's going to have symmetry. Da -da -da -da. How wonderful is that? That's just lovely. I like it a lot. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add some wings to this bird. So again, I'm using this shape that was already there and keep cutting. Yes, I want it to have symmetry. So I want it to be the same. So I trim that to fold it in half. So I want two wings that are just the same. Okay. And then snip. And then voila, two wings. Very good, very good. All right, let's start gluing this. Assemble this little owl. It's the simplest things, just simple shapes, nothing complicated, not a whole lot of details, but just that shape right there says owl. When you look at it, that just looks like an owl shape. Okay, I'm going to put a little blue here for the wing. Attach it right there on the left side. And do the same thing, a little glue right there, and attach it to the right. Okay, now let's find a little piece of something. Here's that blue again, something for the owl's beak. I think I'm going to go with a diamond shape, so I'm going to cut this way. Look at that. That's going to be good. Oops. That's tiny. That was hard to get in there. And I just like the idea that the little owl is sitting there resting its eyes and waiting for night to fall so they can go out and hunt and do what owls do at night. That's beautiful. I could see this in a card that say, owl always love you. <laughs> owl, get it? Owl always love you. That would make a great card. 
This is kind of bumpy. It's bothering me, so I'm going to trim it. So you see where I'm going with this. This is great. And I haven't used this yet. I'm so anxious to do it. I think, I, I think I'm just going to have to go for it. Okay. One more. One more, if you'll bear with me. So part of this flap is sort of in the way. And so is that flap is in the way. Hmm. Oh, I just have this one left. Okay. I can do that. Ah, no. Cut a curve on that corner and a curve on this corner. And let's see, I have something that looks sort of like a an oval. I'm sticking with this bird theme. I think this will be another bird. <laughs> Very good. Two eyes. And a beak. And a little birdie belly. There's a wing. And another wing. And little feet. This is a chubby birdie. I'm going to give it some little feathers on top. And I think I feel like tracing around this to make it stand out better. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's wonderful. So remember, art makes you smart. You just figured out some things to do with some pieces of mail and pieces of cardboard and you have just created your own gallery of great things. Come back with me another time. We'll create more cool stuff.